Hi there, this is Mike Rogotsky. I'd like to show you something interesting that you can do with a web map that you might be making in ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise. I'm going to show you how you can take your resulting web map and embed it in a public facing website. We'll use this nice website here from the city of Markham as our example. So what are we going to have in our map here? Well there's a few layers that I got from York Region's open data site from the region of York and the city of Markham. So what layers do we have that we're going to work with in this case? I've got York traffic cameras. So this was a layer that I had that I was working with. Uh, we can see in the pop-up that I have an image and I also have um, a link to a specific image uh, as well. So this was something that I did by configuring the pop-up in the data set as well. We can see in the attributes here for the layer that there's these two fields that have a URL and a URL to a photo. So when I configured my data, I um, specified a photo and a URL by browsing to those fields and then those become active in my pop-up to give me some nice um, interesting media for my data. Now what else I um, did with that data set too, as you can see, I have kind of the neat uh, camera icon for my uh, symbol. Now that's not part of this default symbology that comes with um, uh, ArcGIS Online or Enterprise. But what we can see here is what I've done is I've taken a symbol and used an image. So an image that I have a URL for. Now that image that I used in this case was something I uploaded to ArcGIS Online just as an image, shared it with the public, meaning sharing it with everyone. And then I copied that URL. And when I did that, I get this little um, icon that shows up in this case here that I can use for my symbology. So that's what I did with that layer. Now as I was building out this web map as well, I added in these fire station layers that I got off the open data site. And we can see here I've got some symbol, I've got a symbol and I've got a label. In this case for the label, what I did was all of the different fields, or all of the different station names start with uh, fire station. And we can see that in the pop up here. So what I wanted to do was just eliminate the word fire. It seemed a little redundant since it's a fire station map that I was making. So in this case, I used um, in the configuration of the labels here, a arcade expression just to remove the fire and replace it with nothing here. So a nice simple thing that you can do to get a little more bang for your buck with your labels. The last thing I did was I using the analysis tools and I did a just a see how the fire stations are situated in the area, I um, used the Create Drive Time Areas tool. So when I created that, I just did four minutes to see how that would look, and I get these drive time areas here. So a five or six minute drive time might show greater coverage in the area of Markham as well. So now that I um, built out this map, I I'd, um, go ahead and save it, and I'd like to put that into a um, public facing website. So I mentioned before we have this fire stations uh, website actually on the city of Markham's page and they have a static map but I might want to replace that with my uh, dynamic map that I have here to add a little more um, information to the website. So I can do that by when I share my map I, I pick if, as long as I pick everyone public what will happen is I'll get this embed in website functionality to become available. And then what I can start to do is start to build out some HTML to have this set specifically for the website I want to use. So I've got some options available to me. I might want to make those layers turn on and off since I have some camera information. The person might not want to see that or that analysis information as well. When I'm all done, I'll click copy and then I can go to the website that I was referring to and then I can get a preview of how this would look in the website using any browser's uh, developer tools. So I'm using Chrome. And if I go into the developer tools here, there's this neat um, inspect tool here where I can inspect any element and get a look at what the code is behind it. So from here, I can see that this makes up the image. I'm going to edit this as HTML. And then I can paste in that information for a web map that we got off of ArcGIS Online. And then in a second, we'll see that we have our dynamic map with the information 
uh, that we had available to us. You can see our fire stations, all of the information as well. We could zoom in and essentially it just provides a little more information on our map that we have from the work that we've been doing in ArcGIS Online. So that's a, a neat little trick that you might want to use as a GIS analyst. You could, after you create your web maps, show the people in your organization, show them one of the pages on your website and how you could add a dynamic map to it to provide a little more extra value to the information that you're creating.